Scala identifiers. We know that Scala components require some names and these names will be for say class, for objects, for the methods and if we define some variables there also it requires some distinct name. So, what are the different types of uh, identifiers are there and how to name them we will be discussing all this in this respective session. So, all Scala components require names and names are used for objects, classes, variables and methods are called identifiers. A keyword cannot be used as an identifier because we are having a set of keywords in Scala they cannot be used as an identifier and identifiers are case sensitive. So, Scala supports four types of identifiers. So, let me discuss these four types and then we will be going forward individually we shall discuss them. So, alphanumeric identifiers, operator identifiers, we are having the mixed identifiers and lateral identifiers. So, at first let us go for alphanumeric identifiers. An alphanumeric identifier starts with a letter or an underscore. So, alphanumeric identifiers will be starting with a letter in capital letter or in the lowercase letters whatever it is or with one underscore which can be followed by further digits or letters or underscores. The dollar character is a reserve keyword in Scala and should not be used in identifiers. So, following are the legal alphanumeric identifiers here, here you see it has started with one letter, it has started with one letter, it has started with underscore, it has started with one underscore. Followed by that we are having the underscores or digits or letters. So, following are the illegal identifiers, why they should be treated as illegal because there's, it is starting with dollar, it is starting with a digit, it is starting with another special character that is hyphen or minus. So, that is why they are known as illegal identifiers in Scala. So, the first category we have discussed that is our alphanumeric identifiers. So, the next category is our operator identifiers. So, an operator identifier consists of one or more operator characters and operator characters are printable ASCII characters such as plus where having this colon, question mark, tilde or hash symbol. So, following are the legal operators identifiers. So, they are the legal operator identifiers. So, the Scala compiler will internally mangle operator identifiers to turn them into legal Java identifiers with the embedded there is a dollar characters. For instance, as an example, you can consider this identifier. Here we have written colon, then minus, and then one greater than symbol. So, would be represented internally as internally as dollar colon, dollar minus, and dollar greater. So, this is our operator identifiers. So, now let us go for the third category of identifiers, and that is our mixed identifiers. A mixed identifier consists of an alphanumeric identifier which is followed by an underscore and an operator identifier. So, following are the legal mixed identifiers. So, just see unary underscore plus then my var underscore equal to. Now, what do they mean? Here unary underscore plus used as a method named method name defines a unary plus operator and here this my var underscore equal to used as method name define defines an assignment operator and they will be used for operator overloading. So, let us go for the last category of our identifiers and that is our literal identifiers. So, a literal identifier is an arbitrary string enclosed in back ticks. So, just consider this one this is a single back quote we can also call it a single back quote and following are the legal literal identifiers like this one is here you see each and every string has got enclosed within single back quote. So, here we have defined what are the identifiers and what are the respective categories and their respective examples out of them. Thanks for watching this.